Hi, my name is Brady, and this is the gospel in my own words. You know, when I think about the gospel, uh, I think you have to take it back all the way to creation. Uh, there is a God who has been around forever, and he decided to create, and his, so he created the world. And we believe that. God created the world. And so what he did is he decided to populate this the world with people. And as you might know the story, there's two people that he started with, uh, a guy named Adam and a girl named Eve. And they lived on this earth, and they lived in perfect harmony with God until something happened. They were disobedient. God had given them some instructions, and they did not follow them. What they did was they were disobedient to God. You know, kind of a Christian term for that is, is called sin. We, they sinned against God. And I have an illustration I think is helpful, and it's, it's an archery term, sin is. And so whenever you uh, shoot an arrow at a target and you miss, the distance between where you missed and perfection is called the sin distance. And so when every time that you, you miss the mark, every time that you sin, you are not hitting the mark that God designed us to hit. We, we are not being perfect we were meant to live in perfect harmony with God. We were meant to be perfect, but we're not. You probably know that. Um, how many? How often are you perfect in everything that you do? It's it's not always a perfect a perfect life that we live, and so we miss the mark often. So, what does that mean for us? If God demands perfection and we are nowhere near perfect, how can we be in back in right relationship with Him? Well, God came up with a remedy for that. God decided to send his only son, Jesus Christ, down and to live this life where he hits the mark and he hits the bullseye every single time. And it's because of that when Jesus was, was crucified and he was buried and when he rose again, God now looks at us and he sees Jesus' perfect record when he looks at us. He sees where Jesus hit the mark perfectly every time and that's accredited to us. And so because of that, now we can have a right relationship with God. Now we can have eternity with Him. And so we needed that Savior. We needed someone who could hit the mark when we couldn't. And so I'm thankful that God decided in His loving and gracious and merciful heart to send a solution to our problem. That is good news, and that is beautiful. And so when I think about the gospel, that's usually what I think of. And man, I just am blown away um, by God's grace and mercy of, of giving us grace and this undeserved uh, love and undeserved merit. Um, and so that is the gospel.